What's good, y'all? Before we get into this video, I just gotta say something real quick. Ice Spice, I hate you. Cause the other day, I was scrolling through Instagram, minding my own business, when I came across her story, and it said that she was giving away free iPhone 14s. So I'm thinking I'm in luck. So I click on the link, I put in my information, my credit card number, my social security number, all that normal shit. I put it in, thinking I'm about to get a free iPhone. Go to sleep, wake up the next day, Tell me why I checked my bank account and I got zero dollars. She took all my money, bro. She scammed me. Like Ice, how could you do this to me? I'm so disappointed. I'm one of your biggest fans. I have a whole playlist just dedicated to you that I listen to every single day. And on Spotify Rap, you are my number one artist. How could you do this? They even took the money out of my savings account, bro. Like, I can't make this shit up. Like, how could you do this? All I wanted was a free iPhone, but you over here promoting scams. Like, I, I can't, I can't believe it, bro. Just know that I will be taking legal action. But anyways, man, let's get into this video. Now, society never fails to disappoint me. Every time I think things are finally getting better, something happens or I see something that puts me back into reality and lets me know things are not getting better. Cause I came across this screenshot the other day of somebody sliding into somebody's DMs and saying some of the corniest shit I've ever seen. It's borderline harassment. Like I felt bad for her and I felt embarrassed for him. But somehow it ended up working out anyways, I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at this screenshot. So if you take a look at this screenshot, on the left you'll see it says how it started with a picture of some DMs. And on the right it says how it's going with a picture of a happily married couple. And after looking at this picture, I'm sure you know where this video is headed. I'm pretty sure you know the direction I'm about to take this into. You could probably just guess the whole script of the video. Like I'm pretty sure we're all on the same page cause this nigga is a loser. This man has no common sense and no self-respect bro. There's something wrong with this nigga's brain. I'm pretty sure it's just a hamster in a wheel up there where his brain is. But you know what? Let's give him a chance. I'm not gonna go in on him right away. I'm gonna take things slow and try to see his thought process. So let's go ahead and read these messages. The very first thing he says, the very first DM is, hey, gorgeous. And off rip, that's just a terrible first DM. Out of all the things you could say, that's probably one of the worst things. And I'm looking at the guy and he looks to be at least 30. And that's just embarrassing because I would say by the time you're 18, you should know how to DM a girl. You should know what to do and what not to do. And clearly he does not know. I don't think I've ever called a girl gorgeous. I don't think that word has ever been used by me. It's just not in my vocabulary. This nigga is saying this as the first DM to somebody he doesn't know. Like, bro, just be a normal person and wait for her to post on her story and just swipe up and respond to the story. Like, that's what everybody does. Why are you trying to be different? And if you are going to go into her DM and just say some random shit, at least come with something like clean, you know what I'm saying? Like a nice little line. Hey, gorgeous. That's the best you could do. But as you know, it gets worse because after that, he says, how are you? And I really wish I could see the timestamps on these messages. Cause I'm pretty sure that this was sent the same day. I'm pretty sure she didn't respond. And he was like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. And tried to backtrack. Cause if you look at the messages, it's a gap, but it's not enough of a gap to be like the next day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure it was the same day. Like double texting is already crazy enough, but the way that you're getting ignored is just beyond me. But of course it doesn't stop at double texting because for the next five months, this nigga is texting her, hey gorgeous. And he's texting her right on time too. Cause all of the dates that he's texting her is all around the same amount of time. It's like he has a calendar marked for the 10th to remind him to text her. This is some serial killer activity, bro. And I mean, I guess I can respect the dedication, but at the same time, you gotta shoot different shots. Like of course, keep shooting your shot, but you gotta move from where you're shooting at. My man is only shooting from half court and he's not moving. He's 0 for 15 in the same spot, he's not moving. Like bro, shoot your shot at some other girls. Bro has had a snowflake next to his character for the last year, bro. You're cold, stop shooting. And what pisses me off the most is he's not even changing his line. Like he keeps saying the same thing. Maybe if you changed what you said, she would actually respond to you. You're not even giving yourself a chance because you keep saying the same dumb shit. Because it's already bad enough that you're texting this girl once a month, borderline harassing her. But damn, at least come with some creative shit, bro. You can say something different each time. If she's not responding to your first three hey gorgeouses, what's going to change for the sixth? What is it that the 12 year olds say? Harassment riz or some shit? That's basically what he's doing. But you know what? How can I even hate? Because somehow it ended up working out. My boy got married. And honestly, I don't know if this is a W or an L. Because at first I'm thinking it's an L. But at the same time, 
I guess he got the girl, so it's low-key a W? Like, I really don't know, because the shit that you had to go through just to get her is an L and a huge red flag. Because if she's acting like that before you even get with her, then just imagine how she going to act when you really are with you. I'm going to just go ahead and assume she going to cheat on you. Not to be negative, but I mean, that's just the energy she's giving. And I'm going to just go ahead and let you know, even though it's common sense, clearly he doesn't have common sense because he wouldn't be in this situation if he did. So I got to tell you this. Bro, that whole time that she was ignoring your text, she was fucking with other niggas. She was going crazy. Like, that's as blunt as I can tell you. This whole period of you being a loser, she was fucking with other niggas. And the only reason that she gave you a chance is because them other niggas started acting up. She probably got cheated on or the nigga left her. She probably got her heart broken and said, you know what? Fuck it. I just give this little nigga a chance. Like, you were the last option. Even if all that didn't happen, regardless, you were still the last option. Like, there's no way around it. You were last. And that's really the main reason that it's an L. Because when you're dating somebody, it's supposed to be mutual interest. Bro, you put your 110% into her and she was ignoring you. But you still got with her? Like, bro, where are your friends? Because your friends wouldn't even let you cuff this girl. Forget Mary. Your friends wouldn't even let you date her. But you got married to her? Because if you just hit, that's one thing. Even though you're doing a little too much just to get in her little, yeah. It's like, okay, you still got it. It's whatever. But... You took it to a whole nother level. You cuffed this girl. It's almost as if you were in love before you even talked to her. And that's really just the definition of being a loser. Because it don't matter how good shorty look. I can feel like it's love at first sight. If I DM you twice, number one, I would never DM you twice. But if I DM you twice and you leave me on delivered, it's up. Like, I'm going to move on. Like, why would I keep trying to talk to the same girl? I got the message. This nigga just never got the message and ended up marrying her. I mean, to each his own, I guess, bro. Maybe that's why I'm single. Maybe I need to start spamming bitches DMs and not taking no for an answer. Like, do I need to start coming with some harassment, be more aggressive? Like, clearly that's what works, so maybe I should start doing that shit. Shit, he might have actually just put us all on. My boy got the Krabby Patty secret formula. I ain't know harassing the hoes will actually end up getting you the hoes. Like, that's new for me. Now, let me not say that before some little kids get the wrong idea. Listen, if you a little kid, number one, you should not be watching me. But number two, do not do this, bro. If she says no, leave it alone and move on to the next one. W positivity type shit. But nah, for real though, the dude who did all this, you gotta have some self-confidence and some self-respect, bro. Because there's no reason you should be doing all this. Now, I can't see this girl's face. All I can see is her back. But with the information that I'm giving, I'm gonna just go ahead and assume that she's not worth all that. Even if she's a 10 out of 10. Shit, she could be a 15 out of 10. I don't care. It's not worth dealing with all that, bro. There's a lot of girls in the world. Other girls are going to like you. Stop dealing with bullshit just to stay with her, bro. Like, you can see just from your first interactions with her how she is. But you didn't use your common sense to get away from the situation. And you put yourself even deeper in the situation by marrying her. L decision making. But again, what do I know? Don't take my advice. Just do what you want to do. Shit, you look happy to me, so fuck it. But anyways, man, thank y'all so much for watching. I spice, I hate you. Make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one, man. Peace out.